flow from Bear River. The flow is 30 cubic feet per second, which is double what the minimum flow could be. And look how low. This whole vast area is dewatered. I was reading some old documents to educate myself on the issues. John Drew called this an ephemeral stream because of the head cutting that went on in geologic time, taking absolutely no account of the hydraulic mining that destroyed every headwater of this river on every tributary to where the bones of the mountains are lying in some areas up to 60 feet deep from the devastation that was an atomic bomb on the Bear River. And this old guy scoffs and says, oh, it's an ephemeral. That is like the epitome of um, the bad direction that our society went with the empire and the discrimination and the racism and the denigration of a living river. Oh, it's just an ephemeral. I can just hear that vile old man scoffing because um, that's what he did with us at the first two or three years that we used to come to meetings and stand against this dam. It was a long battle and he kind of blew out a couple years in because, you know, bad things don't sustain people in joy and health. And this guy went down. And, it, you know, who knows why? I can't say that I'm God. And I know why he had that debilitating accident and kicked a dog and was um, taken out of the race by his own party. But he's gone now. And this is not an ephemeral the tributaries are perennials. How can this be an ephemeral? And we need to repair the headwaters, not scoff at the river and drown it with greed. So anyway, that's my strong feelings about that. And here's the living river doing the best it can with its 30 cubic feet per second, which would be enough for the salmon and the trout. I know they, oh, another thing he said, oh, there was never any salmon in the bear. Well, yes, there was. The native people verify that. That used to be part of their diet. So anyway, it's just today and our times. There's so much to uh, account for, so much to make amends for. But anyway, here we are at 30 cubic feet per second on March 5th. It's a Friday, and it's about 11.30. I'm supposed to meet with a director from Placer County Water Agency named uh, Josh Alpine down here, which, you know, makes me extremely happy because, very, you know, there's, there's three directors at NID that would come down here, and now Josh Alpine makes another director that ventures down to our beautiful Bear River, and it was his idea, so bless his heart, and I hope good things come of this, because we have a very positive vision for Nim Seyu, Kumim Seyu, Tuim Seyu, River of Prayers, River of the Roundhouses, because in this beautiful healing river lies our future, our positive, good, loving, living future. Oh, Matakweasen.